Hey everyone, welcome. It's Wine Wednesday. I'm Kelly. Today we are drinking uh, Kung Fu Girl. This is a 2020 Riesling from Washington State. Um, and it says on the back, land to hand, vineyard to bottle. And then underneath in French it says, de la terre à la bouteille. I am not sure if that is part of their mascot or logo, or if it's because they need to translate into French. Um, either way, welcome to Canada where everything needs to be bilingual. Anyway, so we're drinking this Riesling today. Um, just before we start. A little bit of a life update. So I just finished my W set. Today is Halloween in the real world. In video world, this will be updated probably the second week of December. If I've got my production schedule right, I think 16, somewhere around there. So yeah, like I said, it is Halloween currently. I changed it on my costume because uh, it was very uncomfortable and having four meters of fabric was uh, very awkward. But that being said, by the time that you're watching this, yes, I am a bucket of nerves, and yes, I hate my life because I'm wondering all the things I could have done better on my exam. That being said, it also went way better. I fully went into it thinking I would fail, but I didn't feel like I totally failed. I think there's actually a chance that I could pass, which is magical. If you are doing the W set level three in the future, I strongly strongly encourage you to study beforehand like study the book a couple times beforehand go into class already knowing everything um and then study multiple times while doing the test i was way under prepared and that's a fault of mine so let's drink this wine <laughs> so i also want to note a note i want to note generally uh, Riesling are, sorry, my nose is really itchy, so if you see this, I'm not trying to pick my nose. It's just, it's really itchy. Um, back to the topic I was talking about. Uh, Riesling is a wine that for a long time I did not like. I had the, I think it's a concept that a lot of wine people have at first, that if a wine is good, it can't be sweet, it can't be fun it can't be simple it needs to be powerful it needs to be complex it needs to be all these sorts of things and that is inaccurate you can have a really fun Beaujolais you can have a really fun simple wine you can have a really fun uh, sweet wine that is complex that challenges yourself that is worth drinking um, look at Sauterne look at Takai look at any sort of of sweet wine look at um you know during my w set i had this port that was from i think 1985 if i remember correctly it's the value that my instructor gave to this port was like a thousand dollars over well over a thousand dollars i don't know the exact value but it was a really good glass of port it was sweet just because something was sweet does not mean it's bad um, and just because something is not good does not mean it's bad. It, if it's not good objectively does not mean it's bad subjectively. It, it, there's these dichotomies that we need to always deal with in wine. That being said, I never really liked, uh, I shouldn't say I never really liked Riesling. Riesling is a really fun wine. There's some really cool varieties of Riesling out there. There's some really cool methods of making Rieslings out there um, that I really enjoyed, but I just, I would not be that person to go to a liquor store and buy a Riesling just because I said, oh, I need a complex red or white wine, or I need a acidic white wine, or I need a something other, which eventually funneled me into Pinot Grigio because it checks a lot of the marks that I'm looking for in a white wine, but without actually meeting them. So, I didn't do my tasting notes before just because I want a break from doing <laughs> tasting notes. And because on my exam yesterday, I needed to do tasting notes and it was terrible and I don't want to overthink anything. So I'm going to do a tasting note with you. So 
And also, I know I'm using a regular glass instead of my little tasting ISO glass, but uh, screw it. It's also a really, I don't want to say good wine, but it's a really fun wine. I should do it on the channel sometime. Mm. Okay, so this wine is like very fresh, very, um, I want to say green peach, but I don't think that's the thing, but like very fresh, very citrus, very green fruit, uh, but also gives me a little bit of peach at the same time. I'm also smelling some minerality in there. There's a lot of interesting things going on. Um, and there's also this overlying sense of minerality, which I really like. So let's taste it. And you'll also notice, uh, I would say like a medium lemon color, but mmm. Oh, that wine's dangerous. <laughs> So this is, uh, let's see, off dry. It feels like there's a little bit of sugar in it. It's definitely uh, a very ripe wine. It's very fruit forward wine. The front of my mouth is very happy right now. Um, let's, uh, I think the alcohol is 12%. Yeah, 12% on this. Um, yeah, no, it's really good. given me a lot of like citrus you know limes lemons all that fun stuff a little bit of that minerality and then it's also going into uh like the peach the apricot that stone fruit kind of that kind of realm and it's um ripe forward overall like this is a fun wine it's not super um not super bold like it's not like Chardonnay that you're gonna uh, get hit by a baseball bat like this is uh, more neutral I, I don't want to say more neutral but it's not it's not trying to persuade you as to what it is it's just saying this is what I am this is where I am take it or leave it if you don't like it oh well um, and that's really fun um, I'm definitely to like look up the backstory of this wine because calling something Kung Fu girl Seems like cultural appropriation, but maybe there's a fun story. So, I don't want to say either way. But, um, either way, this is, uh, I, was, <laughs> I wasn't too, uh, I didn't have that many high hopes for this, but, uh, no, this is actually a good one. So if you can find this, Kung Fu Girl, especially, I feel like it'd be good, um, kind of before supper. Actually, I think there's like some acidity to that. Yeah, there's, there's some acidity, which is lovely. Mm. Yeah, no, this, that's good. <laughs> I am surprised by this one. I think it's more like 20 bucks or less. Yeah, no, I am impressed with this wine. Um, just gonna fill up my cup a little bit more. Um, but no, I highly recommend that you uh, have some of this. So like always, I ask you to subscribe, like my videos, share with all your friends. Um, some, uh, some fun announcements. January 1st, we're gonna be launching a new series called uh, Drinking Around the World. So. In that, there are many regions around the world that are known for specific drinks. So we're going to be starting with champagne. Because as many people know, it is only champagne if it comes from the Champagne region in France. Otherwise, it's just sparkling happiness. Just kidding. It's just sparkling wine. Um, but around the world, there's many different regions that are the only ones that can call something a specific kind of a drink be it and we're also launching out of wine too so be it 
uh, you know, wine, be it scotch, be it bourbon, be it whatever. We're looking at all those sorts of specific geographical areas that have limitations. So I'm really excited for that. So that will be Jul uh, January 1st. So we're starting that, not July 1st. <laughs> and then also in the spring, we're also going to be launching Friday Happy Hours. Uh, where we do basically this entire same thing, but, sorry, I just had like a, a little bit of air coming up. Uh, instead of it being wine, we're going to be looking at spirits, we're going to be looking at cocktails, I'm going to be doing some uh, cocktail making, throwing back to my time when I was a bartending instructor. Um, and then, who knows from there, because we're going to be doing three shows a week, uh, which is insane, but honestly when it's right it's right and i feel like this is such an easy job so please uh share subscribe like with like with all your friends share with all your friends <laughs> like it and also please comment below what kind of wines you want me to drink what kind of spirits you want me to drink what kind of cocktails you want me to make all that fun stuff let me know what you think i'm so excited for what the future holds for drinking with kelly